Well, I was going to try calcium hydroxide as an electrolyte, but I put in one tablespoon per gallon, which is one teaspoon and that's half a gallon, and it immediately just precipitated out. I'm wondering if it'll even work. It would also explain the much larger quantities of sludge in the bottom of my uh, water experiment or water samples. So, I'm going to try it anyway, but looks like calcium hydroxide or lime does not go into suspension in water. This is a saturation test of purified water, reverse osmosis type, and calcium hydroxide. I'm going to try one quarter of a teaspoon per gallon. That would be one eighth of a teaspoon with a half a gallon here. See if this is even too much. General idea is to see if I can avoid particulate forming on the bottom. So, leave that set for a few minutes and take a look at it. So, at a quarter of a teaspoon per gallon, uh, the water is cloudy. It seems like no matter what I do, I can't get some of the larger chunks to to go into suspension. I'm going to let this set a few more minutes and see if it begins to percolate out. Alright, it's now been several minutes. I have a light dusting of particulate on the bottom. I'm thinking one quarter of a teaspoon per gallon is probably just barely saturating it. So I'm going to try a uh, electrolysis test with this sample.